Hello guys, today you decided to implement the watchdog timer function on your Arduino for safety reasons. So you first tested your board to be sure it is alive using the blink sketch. Select the COM port. The board is OK. Upload. Everything is OK. So now you already installed the Adafruit library, which name is Sleepy Dog. For example, Adafruit Sleepy Dog library, basic usage. Perfect. Now you upload it. It's done. Now check the speed of the serial link. Open serial monitor at the same speed. OK. After a certain number of loops, the program is supposed to reboot. So we wait one, two, three, four, and it doesn't reboot. And you can see that the program is completely stuck. It is impossible even to reset the board, the hard reset doesn't work. If you try to upload again, it doesn't work. You can wait for a long, long, long time. Nothing will happen. The only way to get out of this is to unplug, to plug it again, and to upload right now before the board is able to boot by itself. So. You can try again and you will get exactly the same kind of behavior. The problem comes from the bootloader. Uh, this is a Arduino clone board made in China and there is a bootloader problem. So to fix that, we will have to use a USB RSP programmer, which is very easy to find. And it is useful to have this plug with only six contacts. Now you have to find the hex file that you will burn as a bootloader. It is already installed your, on your system, so check on the disk where your Arduino program is installed and search for a file name containing OptiBoot. You need this one. Optiboot underscore at mega three to eight point hex. Copy it and paste it to location you will find it easier. Now check for the wiring. In circuit serial programming Arduino pinout. VCC is on the top corner. My glasses. Okay. This way. And you can plug into the USB port. The easiest way to program is to use Javier Dude S, which is the graphic user interface of the command line program uh, AVR Dude. So select your programmer, USB RSP. If you do not know exactly the microcontroller you use on your board, click on detect and it will set automatically to the right value and also read the fuses at the same time. You must make sure that these fuses are set to FF, DE, 05, and 0F and check these boxes, set fuses, set lock. OK, now select the bootloader hex file and program. Done, thank you. It's OK. If you meet trouble using Javier Dudes, you can install a driver for the programmer using Zadig. Option, list all devices, select the right one, USB, ISP, 
and now in the checkbox yes yeah, select leave usb k and click on reinstall driver i will not do it because in my case it works but use this if you get trouble now you can unplug the programmer and use again the usb plug go back to the sleepy dot program com5 okay upload it's done open the serial monitor wait a little bit the board is supposed to reset in four seconds and it's done it works so with the same program just with updating the bootloader we solved the problem thank you for watching